Jose Moreno changes tune on Manchester United squad he spent summer moaning about, as transfer window shuts. He has spent the summer casting shade on rival clubs spending, while systematically seeming to destroy his own players. Yet on the eve of the season, with only minor improvements to the fringes of his team and the transfer window now shut, Jose Moreno has a very different narrative about a squad he recently dismissed as trying to survive and avoid ugly results. Perhaps with the realization that his aggressive, controversial tactics that appeared to devalue his players to force the Manchester United board to sign even more stars, simply hasn't worked this time, the tune has changed dramatically. Now, it is about love. He goes into the season, he insisted, with great admiration for his men, and with the desire to work with them to chase down champions Manchester City, which he believes is still possible. Despite last season's 19-point gap in the Red Devils making only two senior summer signings. I like my players and my group. I enjoyed last season, the fight to finish where we finished and to manage the best position this club has had in five years. I'm going to enjoy this season, he said, when asked about a squad he appeared to suggest wasn't good enough in the summer. I have my players, and I like my players. I like to work with my players. One lie repeated 1,000 times is still a lie, but the perception of people is that it's true. When you repeat 1,000 times that my relationship with my players is not good, it's still a lie. I know the words you want me to say or not to say. It depends on the music, but words don't come easy, at this stage. Moreno, naturally enough, knows his job is on the line this season. He has been around long enough to realize that a manager spending more than £400 million in three years is expected to deliver sooner rather than later. Yet it has also been made clear to him that the United board now feel the days of short-term fixes are over, and long-term planning, bringing in younger players with more potential, is the way forward, as City and Liverpool have demonstrated. It is understood the board refused point-blank to even consider sales of huge young talents such as Paul Pogba and Anthony Marshall because of their potential to improve even further. And that perhaps explains the manager's more conciliatory tone on Thursday. He has frequently spoken harshly about both men, but now he sees them as being big players this season. Pogba, after playing a key role in France's World Cup triumph this summer, is, happy, proud, and has a desire to work. He worked amazingly well Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and he's one of the players that I have to speak to see how physically and mentally he feels. I like the group. By the end of November or December you don't need words, you'll see by then which teams are candidates to win the Premier League. At the moment words are not important. Let's play football and see by the end of November or December. You'll see then which teams are candidates. Marshall may be a different story, with the transfer window remaining open on the continent until the end of the month. But according to Moreno, the only reason he has not joined the rest of the team so far, is that his preseason has just begun again. He had the first three or four days of training and the first couple of matches against the American team and the Mexican team where he played 40 or 50 minutes, the manager explained. He didn't have a preseason, just three days of preseason. He missed nine days of preseason where no training, no football, absolutely nothing. If you are without nine days of preseason without one minute of training or football, you go back and start with the other people. There is not a story. The story will be United's start to the season. They face a tough test against visitors Leicester in Friday's showpiece opener without half their usual team and a problem in the opening few games until the handful of their players who went furthest at the World Cup are fully up to speed. For Moreno, without the new signings he tried to force, that is a huge test, and one he needs his squad to buy into, hence the diplomacy.